let's go ahead and analyze the case B where we have transistor N1 and N2 problem 2 so let's name gate drain and source gate drain and source for N1 and gate drain and source for N2 so let's start before we find out the output we need to know what is the gate voltage for N2 transistor to find out the gate voltage for the N2 transistor we need to know the source voltage of an N1 transistor so let's first analyze N1 let's quickly do that so let's draw N1 transistor this is VDD its gate is at VDD this is N1 transistor its drain is also at VDD and we need to find out the source voltage so same phenomena we will do VGA is greater than is removed so now equal to VTN and the source voltage after doing what we have done till now is going to be VG minus VTN which is nothing but VG in this case is VDD so phi minus 1.5 which is equal to 3.5 so for N2 transistor its gate voltage is equal to 3.5 volts so let's go to N2 now and see how do we find the output voltage N2 its gate voltage is 3.5 volts its drain voltage is 5 volts and we need to find V out or the source voltage here same thing VGS greater than sign is removed so equal to VTN VG minus VTN is equal to VS we know that the gate voltage here is 3.5 at the input of N2 minus the threshold voltage which is 1.5 is equal to VS so VS is nothing but 2 volts or this Vs is nothing but my output voltage so my output voltage is going to be equal to 2 volts so this completes problem number 2 if you have understood problem number 1 and problem number 2 problem number 3 should not be that much of a problem for you because it's very straightforward gate drain source we have already seen that if gate and drain for an NMOS transistor is at VDD VDD each then the output is not going to be VDD but it will be a voltage drop less than VDD so the source voltage is going to be VDD minus VTN we can easily do this using the same equations but I hope you have followed so there's no need to do that and let's call this transistor X1 so let's just analyze transistor X1 so transistor X1 let's draw it gate voltage is VDD minus VTN which is nothing but 3.5 volts and train voltage is also given to be VDD minus VTN that is nothing but 3.5 volts again and we need to find this output voltage so same exercise which means VG minus VTN is equal to VS which is nothing but V out for my X1 so that is nothing but VS equal to 3.5 minus 1.5 is equal to 2 volts so if you have understood all these problems you can easily make out that it is if the gate voltage for an NMOS transistor is high and the drain voltage is also high then the output is one threshold voltage less than VDD and remember that the output voltage from the source terminal will always be compared to the gate terminal to check whether the transistor remains on or not I hope you have followed similarly problems can be solved for PMOS pass transistors as well thank you very much and stay tuned